Hello and welcome back to another in our series of short video tutorials on Corel's Video Studio Pro X3. Today I'd like to introduce a quick way to create a full featured video production using the instant project templates that were introduced in X3, the newest version of Corel's flagship video editing tool. Video Studio Pro X3 extends its optional template based workflow by offering a variety of polished movie templates by RevoStock, complete with audio, transitions, and titles. Once you add an instant project to your timeline, video enthusiasts can then replace a template clip with one of their own by simply pressing the control key while dragging a new clip to the video track. Let me show you how this works. In the launcher here, make sure you make the correct choice for your project with the widescreen choice here. I'll check it on for this tutorial. Launch Video Studio Pro X3 into the advanced editor. In the bar along the top of the timeline here, you'll notice a new icon towards the middle. It looks like a film strip with a magic wand on it. That's the Instant Project Creator icon. Click on it to launch the Instant Project Wizard. You might recognize some of these designs from the DVD Menu Creator. Let's first take a look at what's available for us in the various categories from this drop-down list here. First of all, they all contain wonderfully animated introductions. Most of these are also available in Standard or HD. And, you know, if you don't care for the flashy style, there's also very simple ones as well. Some with or without audio, some with or without transitions, text, etc. There's also some really nice choices for slideshows, too. Now, although there are several categories for slideshows and videos, they're really all interchangeable. You really just need to use the HD templates with HD videos or wide aspect photos and the standard templates with your standard definition content. Again, be sure to check or uncheck the widescreen choice when you're in the Video Studio launch screen for the appropriate project. If you use HD size photos and videos in standard format, they'll be truncated on the sides. So the first one I'm going to choose is this very first one here in the HD slideshow category. And since we currently have no other content or in the timeline, we can put this instant movie either at the beginning or the end, right? And click Insert. Let me play a few seconds of it for you. Notice all the real-time animated sketches this template is making. Notice how it all plays back in real-time. But let me ask you, do you know these people? Because I don't. So let me replace them with my own photos. But what about all the effects that are applied to them? Watch this. This is another new feature in the X3 version. I can replace any photo or any video with an existing one on the timeline by dragging and dropping, holding down the control key. Watch this. Grab a photo, hold down the control key. It says replace clip. Now let me drag the playback head across that clip. And notice how it actually renders it in real time. Isn't that great? It not only replaces the clip, but also applies every effect that was on the original clip to the new one I just replaced. So let me replace the rest of them. I'll be right back. I'm also going to come back to the beginning here where my titles are, double click the title in the, the timeline, and allows me to edit that as well. And it maintains all the formatting from the original clip here too. And I'll get the second one, and there we are. I could also replace the audio clip the same way, but in this case it will actually keep the new clip the same length as the original clip if I hold the control key down when I drag and drop it. If I were to replace any of these with a video clip, the video clip would also be truncated to fit the existing space, so keep that in mind. If you're going to manually adjust lengths afterwards, which of course you can, make sure you have the ripple editing feature engaged in your timeline tracks. That is done here. Click the padlock to turn on ripple editing, then choose in this drop-down menu what tracks you want ripple editing applied to. More often than not, you'll want to select all the tracks. To show you what ripple editing does, let me go towards the end here, and let me adjust the length of this clip towards the end. And watch what happens to all these other clips here in the timeline. Everything moves down accordingly. That's ripple editing. So once you have a project created by an instant project, Save it as a .vsp file under File, Save, and you can reuse this template as your own template. So everything is all set up. Come back in, replace them with new photos and videos from another trip you have, or another birthday, wedding, event, anything like that. So let me rewind this and play this a little bit for you. I have the music turned off, so hopefully that won't interfere here.
So, do you like these new Video Studio X3 features? Now it's time to try them yourself, and have fun, and we'll see you next time.